Hi, my name is Lakshman Sibyl, and welcome to another YouTube video on my YouTube channel, which is called German with Lakshman. Um, on my YouTube channel, I basically am making a mini German course by myself. Um, and yeah, I want I want to try and share my knowledge with you. I, and I also really enjoy making the course. I love, um, actually I'm really starting to love teaching and like, yeah, just showing my ways of learning stuff because I think it can, it can be really helpful. And I also found it really helpful when other people were showing those types of like tips and stuff to me when I was learning German. Um, and yeah, I'm a junior in the Edgemont Junior Senior High School. And uh, yeah, let's just get straight into it. By the way, also my YouTube channel, I upload my podcast, which is called the Thoughts with Lakshman Podcast. Um, if you're interested in learning German, if you're watching this video, I assume you are, um, I t recommend taking a listen to that podcast because I discuss, I'm, well, I'm going to move more into uh, cultural topics and focusing on many different societies, but I really spent 15 to 20 episodes really looking um, sharply at Germany and German culture and German society and German history and how the history has shaped the present. Um, so if you're interested in the language learning, I highly recommend you take a listen to the podcast. It's available on Spotify and Apple Podcasts, whatever platform you want to listen to. And uh, yeah, um, but let's get straight into the episode. So um, furniture. The word for furniture in German we go so furniture is the mobile in german um and i highlighted the vocabulary words like I, I basically with many of the videos we're going through right now at least in the beginning of this part of my program um we're going to be focusing on vocabulary you need to know your vocabulary in order to to go to the next level with your language learning and um without the base vocabulary you're not going to be able to do much with the language so I'm trying to focus on different videos and trying to build up your vocabulary. So again, so the format's going to be pretty similar for a lot of these videos, as you probably have seen. Um, but that's okay. And we're going to continue to build up your vocabulary. And then we're going to have uh, stories with passages that you're going to read, answer questions. Um, and I'm also going to make us go discuss it um, on a video with you. Um, we're going to then move into grammar. And once we start learning the grammar, then using your vocabulary plus the grammar, you're going to be able to write on your own. You're going to be able to speak on your own. And then once you're comfortable writing and speaking, very comfortable writing and speaking, at least on a basic level, but you feel like it's, it comes a lot quicker to you, then we're going to work on listening, which is a lot more difficult. Um, but yeah, so let's just get into the vocabulary, which is vocabulary in German. So die Möbel is furniture. There's the umlaut over the O, so that's important when you pronounce Möbel. Um, and again, um, we're, we're going to have a video on this in a few episodes, but uh, we're, we're going to go over the definite articles, how to tell that with nouns. But it's die Möbel. Um, der Stuhl is Stuhl. That's easy to remember. Stuhl, Stuhl. Um, der Stuhl, Stuhl. Uh, der Tisch, Table. Der Tisch, Table. And one way you can remember this is um tisch tennis it's table tennis um so tisch tennis is the tape is table tennis in german so der tisch is table das bett bed um die badewanne bathtub die badewanne bathtub remember w is pronounced it's not pronounced as a w in english it's pronounced more like a v not completely like a v you wouldn't say die badewanne you would say die badewanne so it's not like a strong v but between a W and a V, if that makes sense. Das Sofa, simply Sofa. Der Fernseher, TV. Der Schreibtisch, desk. Schreibtisch is spelled, it's E-I. You need to remember that, E-I for the spelling. You also have Tisch at the end. So it's almost as if, remember German, there are lots of compound words. So if you look at der Schreibtisch, okay? Schreib, what does Schreib mean? To write. And Tisch means desk. So it's almost as if writing desk, okay? And you can use that to help you when you're trying to figure it out. For example, if you look at das Bücherregel, what's das Buch? Book. So das Bücher, uh, Bücher is multiple books. So that's plural books. And then Regel is a, is a uh, case. 
so a bookcase. So again, you have a compound word in German, but let's go back to our list. Die Mikrowelle, again, the W sound. Die Mikrowelle, microwave. Das Bild, painting. Die Uhr, the clock. Das Waschbecken, sink. You should be able to remember that because of um, wash in the first part of the word. So das Waschbecken, sink. Der Herd, stove. Das Bücherregel, bookcase, umlaut on the U. So das Bücherregel. The Schrank, wardrobe, and die Dusche, shower. Die Dusche is how you pronounce that for shower. Um, just a bit more vocabulary. Um, die Toilette, toilet. Uh, der Herd was there also, but der Herd, stove. Die Treppe, stairs. Die Treppe, stairs. Um, der Spiegel, mirror. And die Kommode. It's a chest of drawers. That's singular, by the way. A chest of drawers, singular. Das Spülbecken. Umlaut. So das Spülbecken. And that's a sink. Um, and yeah, that's... Then here's a uh, picture I want to include. So do you see how that right here, if you look right here, this is a regal. A regal, okay? Bucherregal is a case plus book. So that's a bookcase. Um... A Vonzima is what you would have in your living room. So this is saying die Vonzima Möbel, so living room furniture, another compound word. And uh, this is another compound word, das Vonzima, Zimmer's room. Vonen means to live, so this is a living room. Um, but yeah, vocabulary is crucial. We're going to continue to make more, voca I'm going to continue to make more vocabulary videos. Probably going to see another 15 to 20. And then from there, once you become very comfortable with your vocabulary, you memorize it, you know it. And you start recognizing it, even when you're talking English, you can think like, okay, I know that this is what this is in German too. Once you get to that stage, we'll be ready to go up to, uh, to, to advance your grammar. And then once you advance your grammar, then you're really going to start writing in German and speaking German. And that's how it's going to move. But uh, yeah, I hope this video was productive. That's, that's all I have. I would say you should, there are not that many words here. You know, you can easily, well, there's 16 you're 22. 22 words. You should be able to memorize it. You should be able to know it. A lot of the words are similar to English. Um, that's going to help you too. But, uh, but yeah. And remember, use your knowledge on compound words. Use your knowledge that many words in German are actually very similar to English words. And you can just memorize the rest. It's not going to be that difficult. Um, it's important that you know the definite articles. You know, go over that. Um, but yeah, just you just got to put in the effort. And you'll get there. And thank you for watching the video. I uh, hope it was productive. Drop a like. Subscribe to the channel. Um, like I said earlier, check out the podcast if you're interested in this sort of content. But yeah, um, thank you for watching. And goodbye.